I have it. I'm not suggesting you draw a dick on my head, but you could and it would look like hair. I mean, you just put that idea in my head, so, you know. The guy's hair looks great. Today, I'm changing no, the doesn't. thing I hate most about myself. Today, I'm... See, the, like, this melancholy, just fucking acceptance of it, it's just, it's so fucking sad, man. It's so Dude, fucking sad. I just had... I start this? One of the top Photoshop scientists in the world create this for you to make it to so you okay, can see right, what you would send, send this to me on on uh, uh, about what you would look like okay okay send that to me on tw on, on fucking discord just, just... okay here you go that's roughly what you would look like Looks pretty good, man. I think... I think that looks pretty good. I think you could pull that off a little bit. There's no... No. For one, no. Definitely no. Like, I... I, I this is... This is for sure Photoshop. Number one. Everybody knows it. Number two... I, I feel like I don't even... I, it, it's just... No. No, just fucking no. You have a far better. No, I don't have a better head. You guys just don't know what my head is. Well, let, let's see what this is. All right, no. Video. Uh, I'm losing my hair. Yeah, it's taken me a long time to uh, accept that I'm losing my hair, and then man, his hair's better than mine. What the fuck, man? His hair's better than mine. That, to figure out what do I want to do about it. If doing yeah. something about it is somehow admitting weakness or defeat. I yeah, kind of is. first realized that my hair was thinning and receding Jesus four God. years ago, maybe five. You know, unsurprisingly, it coincided with when I started being videos. Seeing myself on camera more and more and more, and I started going like, wait a second, is that? That's not what I look like, oh, right? Wait, okay. is that what I look like? Over the last couple of years, once I realized that it was wow. going, I tried a lot wow. of things. I tried creams, I tried supplements, I tried He's different haircuts. Lasers? Let's start with the hair skin nail vitamins. Let's do the minoxidil. I first had this swell of, of enthusiasm. I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna take this head on. I'm gonna figure out how to style my hair. Head I'm gonna on. fix this, I'm gonna save it. And Jesus over time, Christ. I found that even my best efforts weren't enough to, to hide it. So then I tried being like, you know what, screw it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna let this affect me. And that was even worse. <laughs> Turns out not giving a shit about how you look means that you're going to look like you don't give a shit. Mag, screw it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna let this. That was fucking, that statement he just made was so 800 billion IQ. What statement? Nobody even understands it. You mean you don't give a shit? It looks like you don't give a shit? Yep. I mean, like, that's you right now? No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Look at you. It's not even remotely close. That's you leaning against your Mustang, dude. No, it's not. It's not like that at all. Uh, my hair is not messed up. There we go. So, that, no, definitely not. No, 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 no. All right, let's just keep going. It's affect me. And that was even worse. Yep. <laughs> Turns out not giving a shit about how you look means that you're going to look like you don't give a shit. Maggie doesn't care about it. My yep. friends don't care about it. The world is like, yeah, you're losing your hair, so what? But it's something that I care That's about. That's right. Every single day I think about it. That's multiple right. Multiple times a day. And it yep. just is so distracting it's so destructive and it's like painful it's i i just it's all i can think fuck, about sometimes man. i just can't stand it anymore so i've decided that it's time to do something about it okay okay
This is Barber's Barber Shop. Surgeons Guild. I like to define it as a medical men's grooming lounge where we specialize in well, high-end haircuts, straight razor, hot towel shaves, and then we have a full-on medical speakeasy where we do hair restoration, hair treatments, hair regeneration okay. therapy, and then various laser services as okay. well. Medical speakeasy. So this is like a, this is like an underground. Well, when you walk in, it looks just like a barber shop. Men yeah, just because they're drunk didn't whenever feel they comfortable. Do everything going to like a hair loss center. There's nothing cool about it. It's always like no. admitting defeat if you go somewhere like that. Yeah, you know, We want to create this concept that is just somewhere that men want to be. You mentioned restoration surgery pretty early oh. on and I was like, no. So when I was looking at Barber Surgeons Guild, because of the robotic technology See, that they have, hair, that's man. when I knew that that would put his hair concerns at rest because you're concerned with surgery. Look at that. How the fuck is that fair? No, really, I mean, look at the guy's hair. Literally. I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you. He looks even more silly than, silly than the guy going bald, okay? That is a ridiculous hairstyle. Y y yes, yes, but it is. I have to say, I think it works for him. Like, he looks, it's silly, but it looks good. And I'm assuming that this video is taking place on the west coast in which case he fits in even more yeah i mean okay. absolutely yeah 100 percent. the the weird it's the weird ass mustache and goatee that's the thing wait, wait, like, wait, wait. what's weird with the goatee what's why is a goatee weird? because you what can you count mean? the amount of hairs bro it's like there's it, nothing wrong with that he, goatee no he's there's reverse no, dude he's reverse balding no there's literally like he nothing might not he might not be losing goatee. the hair on his head no but you don't know shit no, dude. You don't what, know what? shit about goatees. What do you mean? Look, did this one hit a too too close to home? Like, what what's going on here? That that does not look good. Okay, just look right there. That fucking goatee, whatever you want to call that, does not look good. I'm not coping. I'm not coping. Don't, this isn't about me. We're talking about Asmund here, okay? Oh, Whether shit. or not these two dudes look good, I don't really give a shit, okay? Yeah. I'm not going to judge them. Yep. But Asmund, okay, Asmund would look good bald. That is my final stance. And here's another point. Instead of Asmund bald being spammed in chat, you know what they would say instead? Asmund bald? Stone cold Bald gold. Austin? Stone cold gold, dude. What do you think about that? That sounds really, really badass, but... Stone cold gold. Alright, okay, okay. Alright, I'll, I'll think about that, alright. Uh, Heisenberg? No, I don't, I don't like that. That guy's got cancer. Uh, like, no, I, I don't want that. I, I, look, all right, we'll go, we'll go the rest of it. But I mean, look, I mean, how's this guy have so much fucking hair, dude? And your other concern Some was scarring. A lot of people, they just don't know all the things that are out there. See those plugs, you know, no one does that anymore. There are these amazing new services and treatments. We're hoping that, I don't know, someone could help make some content about it <laughs> and educate the world. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm gonna do a follicle analysis. Follicle the analysis. Yeah, we're gonna take a microscopic image of your follicles to determine the stage in which they're essentially dying or shrinking. Oh, oh fun. <laughs> so what areas kind of bother you the most? The two things that bother me are like the just whole thing. the thinness of the scalp the whole and thing. then the receding in the front. You know, it yeah. just is not the shape that I want it to be right. anymore. It's, it's gone back. Yeah. Mean, it's like the ocean is taking the sand back with it. So let's start here in the wow. front, like you okay. were mentioning. Oh, beautiful. So hit capture there. So hit capture. Capture. Ooh, that looks thick. Look at all that hair. Here, this is what we would call the donor hair, just for, for comparison. Oh. Oh, okay. wow. That's okay. so much hair. There's hair in different stages. She has some thicker, kind of healthier hairs. You see the, the thickness and the diameter of yeah. these hairs, right? And then you look at around the hair. So this one's a little thinner, yeah. for example. And then they're like these like little wispies. These little vines. See, I've got the wispies too. And like, I don't know how the fuck those happen. Like, well, why, don't they, why don't they just stay the same size? And wispy, even thinner. So you have hair that is kind of, for lack of a better word, dying in different stages. Jesus, so you're getting thinner and thinner, thinner and thinner and thinner. Hair loss. What happens is 
the hairs become miniaturized. The hairs start as thick hairs, and then they become thinner and thinner and thinner, finer, miniaturized hairs. As the hair is miniaturizing, that's when you can still do something about it and bring it back. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yes. Right. About a month ago, I started on finasteride, which is supposed to take the really thin hairs and make them thick and light hairs than so I is thought it, it's I too late? Did. I thought they were all gone. They're there, they're just thin and dying. Over these videos, I'm gonna be doing a round of two procedures. Oh, First, no. I'm gonna be doing what they call a camouflage, where oh, they're basically no. gonna tattoo my scalp in between my hair, and what that's gonna fuck? make it so that it doesn't look so thin. So that when you look down at my hair, you go, oh, that's some thick hair. And then we'll be doing robotic hair restoration for the hairline to create more density and fullness up front. All this area where you can sort of see scalp through here, kind of in the mid scalp through the crown, we're gonna pigment this and this is just gonna immediately, you won't see anything back here. So I always thought that I needed restoration in the middle, but the hairs are there. We just need to, we need bring, to them back. bring them back, make them healthier, okay. throw a little bit of that um, scalp camo in there, call it a day, it's gonna look perfect. Oh, what? What the fuck, they got razors? In, uh it's a syringe, dude! This is weird. So, uh, we are ready, getting ready to do the first procedure. This is fucking procedure. weird, man. Uh, this is kind of surreal and, and weird feeling. I've been so yeah, in video production mode is. that I kind of forgot that this is like a real medical procedure we're doing. Oh, man. Come hey. on in, how's it going, man? Good. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> Get you comfortable in this chair. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's like I'm I'm going to sleep on a fancy airplane. So you're gonna be numbing my head? Yeah, so I'm gonna be numbing the head, which we don't always do for this, but I told him off camera that I'm a little bitch and that I would like the numbing, please. <laughs> this is right. laughing gas. Laughing hey. gas, nitrous oxide. We call it the hookah because um, that's what everyone calls it. Cheers. Yeah. Take five or six Hell yeah, all dude, all laughing gas. Deep breath, like fill your lungs up. There it and is, dude. Go back into the tube. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You feel a little bit? Oh, fuck. Okay. That's my balls. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hold on to that tube. Oh, my okay. God. Whoa, that one really got me. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it God. really that funny? Oh, I feel that it's kind of painful, but it's yeah. not really that painful well, also, because the, the laughing. Whoa. I haven't been this high this early since college. <laughs> I definitely felt a little gross. And my nuts or my voice sound crazy. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? This looks like Rob from Super Smash Brothers. Oh, now I can feel that it's yeah, numb. You ever, of... um, have you ever gotten like a procedure on your gums, that yeah. numb feeling? You're like, oh, I'm aware of the presence of numbness. It feels like you're wearing like a hat or something, like a helmet. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember Basically the first thing I ever said to you. You came in and then you uh, showed me a picture of yourself in okay. college. And you said, I have hair. I just don't know what happened to it. And then you showed me that picture and then I said, oh, this is when you were losing hair. Yeah, that blew my mind. That's like I'm you. like, look how robust my hair was. And he's like, no, no it had already started. When you See, that's what really bothers me right there is like that picture it is like, I, I don't know how many of these pictures, where, where, where is it? Just a second, it's like right Dude. here, right? This That's one. exactly like you, because like, you just is... did that a couple days ago, or yesterday. No, you I... went over your past. Yeah, remember? Like this is from 2000, probably like what 2012, or probably about the same age. Let me look right now. Uh, like if I have any pictures of myself, like, dude, this is it, it's so disturbing to me, man. Like, let me see. Can I can I find my own pictures? Oh, that's the way it goes. Okay. Uh, well, let me see here. Media. All right, let me scroll all the way down. See, this is me, right? And so it was already happening. A little bit. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was fine. You you were you were a neckbeard, you know, guy and you're just like you're playing wow and you had an axe and yeah. you know? Now it was fine here. It was it was not oh it wasn't fine here, but it was a lot better here. And it wasn't fine, was it? No. No, it wasn't. I think sometimes I think sometimes you lie to yourself 
a little bit. You think so, true, or do you think so, chat? Do you think that's true? This is just insane, man. Like, I, I, I just. I mean, every once in a while, I do have a good hair day. I mean, it does happen. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen sometimes. And But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look yes. at this. Look at this. I was like fucking... I was like 16 in this picture. I was giving my mom a hug. Look how much hair I had, man. That's cute. But you know what? Lamenting over your lost hair is not going to bring it back. You might have a couple good hair days now and then yeah but if you shaved it all off and grew your facial hair out a little bit more you'd have a good hair day every day i'd have a no you'd hair day every day i wouldn't have a hair day there wouldn't be exactly. any more hair that's so my point i can't have a bad hair day if i don't have any fucking hair you will have hair you you will like, always have facial hair man you can you can you can do crazy things with your facial hair you can make you know your goatee or you could just have like you know, a little bit of mustache or something. I don't know. You could fuck with it a little bit. There's not much you can do with the rest of your hair that you have now, man. If you went bald, you'd look fine. You look great. I just. I mean. Yeah, is Izzy, is Izzy in the chat? I'll call her and I'll see what she says. If she's in the chat, we'll call her. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, uh... Where the fuck is it? No, I don't think she's here. Okay, let me double check and, and look at the... And I'll see what she says. Stone cold gold. L let's finish the video. Let's see how this guy turns out, okay, guys? It's not all over yet. I just don't know what happened to it. And then you showed yeah. me that picture, and then I said, oh, this is when you were losing hair. Yeah, that blew my mind. I'm like, look how robust my hair was. And he's like, no, yeah, no it had already started. Hair. When you notice hair thinning, when you can start seeing you know, between the hairs, that means you've already lost 50% of those hairs. So when we're talking about male pattern hair loss, it's called the androgenetic alopecia. As I understand it, it's you have so much testosterone that it blocks the hair from growing. What you're is. basically more manly than other men. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, and your hair just can't yeah. handle it. I can like uh, feel true. you pulling my true. head, but I can't feel anything on my head. That's a good thing. I'm just gonna pretend okay. I'm wearing a hat. And you have the nitrous there, even though you don't feel anything, you can play with it as much okay. as you want. Pretend like you're back in college. All right, Rodney. <laughs> All right. We're doing like a little bit of skin dye, so it's sort of similar to a tattoo, but not quite, because it's very surface level. It's like when yeah. girls get microblading in their eyebrows, it's not permanent, but it fills it in. Same That's idea. Some weird It'll ass give shit, you dude. the appearance of more hair That's without some weird having ass shit. to use some more of your donor hair. Okay. Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. It kind of just feels like a bumblebee is trying to give me kisses. A bumblebee? Yeah, because of the buzzing. My hair is thin, and you know, if it's brushed the wrong way, you can see the scalp. The camouflage is something that will just get rid of that shine anywhere throughout here if the hair is parted or it gets wet. So you're intentionally doing something of a random... A random pattern. Yeah, well, how come? Because if you do try to make it too perfect, it just looks unperfect. We use a different ink that's what not normal tattoo ink. This is a vegan-based, biocompatible vegan ink, which based. means eventually your body breaks it down. So eventually it'll kind of fade over time, but which is good, because so you, come you back. might decide to change sure. your, your hair style, your hair color, who knows. Okay. So really just like that already. It's definitely so LA. It's really that doesn't cool. look good at all. As, as he comes it over, it just looks like you got a full head of hair. No, like it that doesn't. Part is just so much more. The thick. fuck are you hey, talking about? You just want you. to come back. Have you ever like? You what said do you that mean? You do random dots up there, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done like a little hidden picture? I haven't. I'm not suggesting you draw a dick on my head, but you could, and it would look like hair. I mean, you just put that idea in my head, <laughs> so you know. So we're, we're like more than halfway through. Yes. I've just been here, I've been like crushing emails. I just finished a phone call with Eugene. This is a totally non-intrusive thing. It's not painful at all. Once you're coming over, there's 
There's no dots. Wow. It's the camo I see it. I see the dots, man. Camouflage. And then right now, these dots are darker, like, but like in is... a day or two, they're going to get a little more. Famous. Yes. This I don't want you bullshit, to wash your hair just for two days. And to be honest, this morning, I like kind of got nervous again. And I'm like, do I really want to do this? This is like, this, this is happening? And now I'm like, fuck yeah, this, this is awesome. It takes on, on average about three sessions over the course of a month. Do it a little bit at a time to for a how gradually long? create that volume and, and coverage. After three the procedure, am I, what's the recovery? Look like. No recovery with that. No recovery. Literally, you can't wash your hair for 48 hours. That's the recovery. So I could be on camera after that. You could procedure. do this on a lunch so break. That'd be fine with wow. me. Actually, your hair would look better when you go back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All done. All done? Yes, sir. Hey, how's it look? Whoa. 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 Wow. That's wow. cool. I'm not even high anymore. That's just well, normal right. reaction. Wow, all right, you did all right, such let me go a back. good job. Let me go back. Uh, okay, so he was at, what? that's what he was at before, right? Number one. Uh, Number two. That's pretty damn, that's pretty damn good, dude. It cost $500? Yeah, that's a lot uh, of fucking money, dude. Okay. That's cool. I'm not even high anymore. That's just normal reaction. Wow, not you sure. did such a good job over here that now I'm like, we gotta take care of this. It looks so much thicker. That's the problem That's with crazy. me. crazy, just one session. So much of what we've been doing together has been working with my fears. I wanna get it's to- It's like literally my fucking, like literally my head is going, my hair is going to the back of my fucking head. Like this is what happens to dudes. It's like, it goes, it starts here. It goes to here. It's here. And then it's gone, it's on your back, and then it goes to your fucking ass. This sucks. Place where I'm excited about my hair instead of anxious. My hair can yeah. be a part of my expression. It can be something that I have fun with yeah. or something I can decide I don't give a fuck about. So now this is huge because I can style my hair the way that I do. I don't right. have to worry about the transparency. I haven't been excited by my hair in ever. I'm excited right now. And this is just the beginning. We're gonna do one more of this and then going to meet Chappie. Hello, Zachary. I am waiting for you. When you think of hair restoration, you think of the horrible plugs or, or like yes. toupees from the 70s. Yes, that's oh exactly what I think wow. of. <laughs> now the robot stuff begins. Okay. Whoa. What the fuck is all this, man? This is so... Give me your worth, Chappie. Wait, so this just came out like a few months, like a month ago. Yeah. Uh, well, what are they saying about it? You hair basically can't handle it. Uh. Wait, part two? Where's part two?